Hello fellow Peanuts fans, I'm Karen from CollectPeanuts.com. Today we're taking a look at another mystery box from our California collection. This one is called Wax and Hallmark, box number 22. And this is brought to us by Roger. Thank you, Roger. Oh, there's some good stuff in here. First up, it's a 1975 Peanuts Day by Day calendar. There we go, every day a new comic strip with the Peanuts gang. That's pretty neat. I Love Mankind, it's People I Can't Stand with Linus. I don't think I've ever seen this one. It was originally $2.50. This is by Springbok, but it's just part of Hallmark. Here we have a little... It's a, a Valentine sort of centerpiece. This is like a honeycomb and you would splay it out. That's by Hallmark. Here we've got some petite napkins, coaster size, yo-ho-ho, -ho, and a bottle of rum. I've never seen these either. This is amazing. I love Pirate Snoopy. I don't know what is about it that I love so much. These are also Hallmark. <laughs> Another set of napkins. Uh, this one's Snoopy and Woodstock on the doghouse saying, wee. What have we got here? It's a little coin purse. Featuring Snoopy and Woodstock. Feels like there's something inside, but sometimes these just have paper. Yep, that's just like a bit of tissue paper to fill it out. This is by Hallmark. Lots more plaques in here. Genius at work. Who wants this for their at-home office? Awesome root beer. Let's see that magazine there says soaps. This one was $6 by Hallmark. This is a much later one than the Linus one we looked at. Probably 1980s. This one is 1970s. You can kind of tell because of the neon fluorescent colors. We all need someone to kiss away our tears. This one, it's missing a label on the back. I mean, it's nice to have that, but if it doesn't have it, it's still a nice piece. Back to the 1980s, the secret the secret of staying young is to find an age you really like and stick with it. There's Snoopy jogging on this um, sort of quilted landscape. I really like these with the little embroidery and fabric. It gives it a nice texture. Mine is a sort of home where friends feel they can dr just drop in anytime. And there's two early Woodstock birds. This one has a little bit of an issue with the print coming up, but it's not too bad. Like, maybe that'll clean up. This is a fun one. Cleanliness is next to impossible. Who doesn't need that for their bedroom? And it says, uh, mess sweet mess up there at the top. This one was by Ambassador, just $5. Another plaque here, Snoopy and Woodstock, keep smiling. It makes people wonder what you've been up to. I think everybody could use a smile then and again, now and again. Again, this has a sort of fabric look to it. It's so nice to know you're loved. I wonder if this would clean up. Let me get a cloth. Now this is just a lightly dampened cloth and let's see. Yeah, that's, hope you can see that. That's getting a lot nicer. Beautiful. So nice to know you're loved. And this one is. Happiness is having a friend. Isn't it though? Oh, this one's got a big label. It says Springbok, Charlie Brown, something by Charles M. Schultz. big label. 
Merry Christmas, teacher. This is a cute one. It's it's nice and round. It's got a little bit of a flaw there, but it's still nice to see. It says 1982, so you know what year it's from. Another small one here. Have you hugged your dog today? Everybody go and hug your dogs. Pause the video first. Come right back. That one was $4, and this is probably from the 80s. You're always a winner when you do your very best. We always try and do our best, don't we? There's Charlie Brown in the, in the kite-eating tree. Don't let life's little hang-ups get you down. There's Lucy and Schroeder. It's amazing how stupid you can be when you're in love. Here's Snoopy and Woodstock dancing. Start each day with a smile on your lips and a song in your heart. <laughs> you can see some discoloration from the tag. I wonder if this one was on top of it. I don't know if that's from the tag. That happens. A friend likes you just the way you are. So we're going to like this plaque just the way it is. Snoopy, keep smiling. This one, this one also has some discoloration where a tag was. Or maybe non-discoloration where the tag was. This one's got a big label on it too. From Springbok. Here we've got two packages of napkins, the uh, sort of luncheon size and the cocktail size. Beverage napkins, there you go. I don't know if that's chewed or torn or... Let's not ask too many questions. These are both from Hallmark, from probably the early 70s, late 60s. Here's Joe Cool hanging around the beach drinking root beer and eyeing chicks. That Joe Cool. <laughs> There's Woodstock singing a song. Does anyone recognize that song? Put it in the comments. I suppose like I could get out a piano and try and play it, but I'm just not that good at piano anymore. Simply Joe Cool little tiny napkins. I wonder what these were used for. So many napkins. Next up, this, is, this looks to be uh, to be a gift tag. You would remove these little green things here and then put it on a package. Peanuts Gallery Hallmark. I've never seen these before. Uh, all the forks and spoons you could ever need in your life, right? Snoopy Super Service. Almost as much fun as eating with your fingers. Look at that. Four of each. This is also Hallmark. Here's an interesting piece for you. 15 postalettes with sealing wax. Look at that. I've never, I've never seen that. Like, I don't think I've ever seen, like, not that I, not that I look for these Hallmark Postalettes, but I don't think I've ever seen these, like, waxing ones. So you get some, I think this stick is the wax, and then you probably pick out what seal you want or something. Or maybe, it's just Woodstock's footprint. I don't know how it all works. It's brand new to me, too. Here's some instructions on the back. Here we have, Wishing You a Very Merry Christmas. This is a pretty cool book. Um, I do a book of the month, and if I haven't done this one yet, I will be doing it. I've already filmed it, I just don't know when it's gonna come out. Because I only do one a month. If you want more than one a month, come join us on Patreon. Of course, of course this is by Hallmark. You know that already. These are pretty cool. Curse you, Red Baron. It's a, um, it's like a greeting card, but it's also like a wall hanging. Um, yeah, so they came in like a greeting card sort of box, so you can send them through the mail. This one has 
some condition issues like um, Snoopy is sort of pushed in here and his foot is broken. Um, you rarely see these without issues, especially when they're out of the box. That's, that's when you see them with issues. Box tends to protect them a little bit. This one isn't too bad though. I mean, that's still a beautiful piece. Here's a greeting card, I believe. Happy Valentine's Day. Aww. That's a neat greeting card. Look at how big that is. Of course it's homework. <laughs> Here's a tiny bit of wrapping paper. Oh. Look at this beautiful wrapping paper. Look, there's there's Beethoven on it. Who wouldn't want some Christmas wrapping paper with Beethoven wearing a Santa hat? Oh man, this is brilliant. I love I love little scraps even if it's just little scraps. Who cares? I will enjoy it. You get to see it. Maybe maybe someday I could like scan this in and recreate this pattern. Looks like there's some Snoopy with a doghouse here. There, carefully unfolded. Looks like Snoopy wants some pizza for Christmas. You know, sometimes that would be better than the turkey. I'm just joking. The turkey's been lovely, Mom. It's lovely. This isn't peanuts, but look at this beautiful gift bag. Those colors, that style. It, I think it says Dorsey's. Party time, present present time. Huh. I, I've never heard of Dorsey's. Probably just some sort of gift shop. Gift card, oh, gift card, some greeting cards here. Oh, uh oh, they seem stuck. Let me see what I can do. All right, these greeting cards are for another time. I can't get them unstuck in the current conditions. Might have to steam it just a little bit. Oh, look at that crazy pink. Merry Christmas to you, you fantastic, wonderful person, you. <laughs> I don't know what the joke is. Seems like it'd be a funny one. Uh, let's see if this Joe Cool one works. Not quite. I can I can get a little bit more out of the way. It's got this um sort of embossed uh, stuff on it. You can kind of see it shine in the light. Maybe have a groovy Christmas. We cool dudes always say groovy. Of course these are for homework. Of course. There's a little bit more in this bag. Um, it is a Santa frog with a guitar. I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a couple of frogs under a toast toadstool. Um, a receipt. I think that says Buena Ventura Shopping Center. Oh, there's there's more. Well. Bears. Uh, it looks like it says Susie Satford. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is Susie Zoo. <laughs> well, I, if you're interested in Susie's Zoo and you want to give me an offer on those, please do. Oh, something else random. I, I haven't seen this one. Uh, it's a, an Aviva Instant Stained Glass. Looks like it got chewed a bit. Um, that happens. This is, it's just a window cling. I don't know how well they worked. I don't know if they still work, but they're kind of neat. Uh, it's, it's a ruler, obviously. You, you got that. We got Violet and Sally and some focusing problems. We got Violet, Sally. Peppermint Patty, Charlie Brown, Lucy Franklin, Linus, Frida, Schroeder, and Roy learning from Snoopy. Does it say who made this? It says Homer. Made in West Germany. How about that? Here we have a book bag for going to school with the Peanuts gang. That's in pretty decent condition. 
I even got the original tag here. This is from Butterfly Originals. That's a backpack type. And there's a bit of rust coming in on the clasp here. I have to put something on that to keep it from damaging the cloth some more. Okay. Ooh, I got some stickers here. Um, this says 12 gift trims from Hallmark. This is pretty, pretty early, maybe 60s, early 70s. A few more stickers here for you. Snoopy seals. Look at those. You know, I think I already have one of these. I never thought I'd see another one. <laughs> Oh, Snoopy and his raccoon coat here. This is made by K&M Company. And you just don't see these that much anymore. This is in pretty decent shape. It might clean up. This is fun. Shipsta, Shipstads and Johnson Ice Follies. If I could pronounce it. There's the top of it. Snoopy in the middle with all these ice skaters. Here's a Snoopy photo for you with the Cook family. There's Snoopy in, I don't know what type of car that is. It's quite the car though, isn't it? How did they get that out on the ice? Oh, it's Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. How about that? This isn't Snoopy, but I thought I'd show you the big purple cow. I think it is. I, I don't even know. Look at that weird thing. There's another picture of Snoopy. With all the um, patriotic celebration, I'm wondering if this is from 1976. Maybe it's already said it and I've just completely missed it. Who knows? Also, did you see these women in these dresses? Can you imagine skating in that? But I don't know how they do it. You're amazing. Uh, in the back of this program is an advertisement for Snoopy jewelry. Look at all that. How cool is that? I, I keep saying that, I'm sorry. Um, so pins were $3.25. Rings were $2.50, pierced earrings $3.50, and a keychain $3.25. Oh, I've never seen that one. Oh, so much Aviva jewelry. And there's the back. Pull it! Here we go. It's like a bag you would take to the beach. really cute bag there. Um, I think this might be Butterfly Originals. Yep, Butterfly Originals. Made in Japan. A packet of stickers here that needs um, good cleaning. Oh, well, we're gonna do that later. We've got a, a little handkerchief here. It needs uh, a good washing, a good pressing, and it'll be, it'll be good. It's got a little bit of uh, discoloration here. Maybe my mom can get that out. <laughs> Pin the ears on Snoopy. Party game for everyone. So there's a big Snoopy poster in there. And then there's all these ears to pin on it. Oh, it, it's kind of open. I think it's just time is slightly open the package for us. Maybe we'll take a look at that some other day. Put on your dancing hats. Hang out with uh, Snoopy and Woodstock here. This is just a, a decoration from Hallmark. Ooh, a miscellaneous brown bag. What will be inside? Huh? <laughs> uh, 
another one of these. This one is in much better condition. Uh, so somebody will be able to add the other one to their collection. If you want it, let me know. Whew. It's a Snoopy calendar from the 1973 to 74 school year. I love these old calendars. These bright colors. The bold fonts. Maybe I should like show these a little bit better. If you want to see more pictures like this, I do um Put these on my Instagram. So take a look at that. Here's a 1974 date book. This is not the school year date book we just looked at. It looks very similar though, doesn't it? Look at that. How, how do you tell the difference? No color, obviously. But let's see, are they the same inside? Okay, this, this says beep and it's February. That's, that's very cute. Actually, I have that picture on my Instagram, but it was on a coloring book. Let's check out this February. Oh, that's, that's October. Okay, February is later in the year because it's the school year and it's different. There you go. They're completely different inside. Now you know you have to collect both. Enjoy. <laughs> well, here's what's left of a calendar. Well, let me see if the rest of it's in the box. I don't see it. So I think this was a calendar by Hallmark. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> uh, it, it, it was like a big cut, cut out or something of Charlie Brown. And so you had this baseball mitt on. And so you would just tear off whatever month was done. And somehow they just tore off the back of the calendar instead of the front. Here's a couple photo albums. I think the one behind it is going to be a photo album. Want to see my pictures? Is there anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there are like pages in here. People always expect more of you when you have naturally curly hair. Is that true? Do you expect more of me? Because I have naturally somewhat curly hair. Oh, there's a picture of Sandy. Oh no, maybe this is Linda. I think this might be Linda. If you're Linda, let me know. Oh, there's a note on the back. Okay, well that's that photo album from Hallmark. Oh, oh no, I just cracked the spine. I mean, that's what happens sometimes with old, old things. <sighs> I was right. It's another one. It's a great trip. Oh, let's, let's try and be a little bit nicer to this one. Um, well, there is commentary in here by the Peanuts gang. Oh boy, is, is it ever good to be back home? Oh, I just feel, I feel terrible about this one. Oh. Another Christmas book from Hallmark. I think I already have uh, a video of this one. Someday it'll be one of our book of the months. 
It's like letters from Santa. Well, I mean, letters to Santa from all the Peanuts gang members. It's kind of a fun read. Some Easter stickers. I don't know if I have these. I mean, they sort of look familiar. But there's just so many Hallmark stickers. It's sometimes hard to keep track. You know, the party's not ending, guys. Oh! Oh, man! We just invited a lot more people to it. <laughs> Look at all these napkins. And don't forget the plates! Oh my gosh, those are so cute. <laughs> Some random Santa Claus ones. Who knows where those are from? They, they kind of look like these, so they're probably Hallmark. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, there's four packs of this. Those are really cute. There's a few more things to finish up. Another coin purse. Again by Hallmark. Got a Snoopy for President bumper sticker. Who wants that for their car this year? Lucy for first lady, or, or maybe just present. Come on, let's do it. There's win with Charlie Brown. And let's elect Linus. So these were from Hallmark, two for 60 cents. Oh, this one got just a little bent on the edge. This is a uh, bicentennial, probably 1976. Ruler. Let's see all the different versions of Snoopy on there. That's from Hallmark. Got it's Halloween. Keep your fingers crossed, and you might see the great pumpkin. There we go. Snoopy says, fingers, happy Halloween. Peanuts gallery. And, uh, oh, that seems to be an ear. Don't know what that's from. Maybe it's from the, uh, from the ears on Snoopy game. And then this is a snap type model kit box top with a fossil in it. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> it's a fossil. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Well, Roger, if you want your fossil back, let me know. Um, it, it just kind of looks like a shell fossil. I don't know anything about fossils. I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> uh, anyway, look at Snoopy and Sock with Camel model box. Maybe, maybe the rest of it's here somewhere. That would be pretty cool. You would love to see that. I do have a video on all these snap type model kits. And what else is left in here? Okay, I think this is for a drum. Maybe. That doesn't come off. And then uh, a puzzle piece. That's where your missing puzzle piece went. It's in this box. All right, that's it for today. You have a lovely week. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram. And if you'd like to sponsor us, join us on Patreon. And don't forget to like and subscribe to CollectPants.com on YouTube. Thanks for visiting. Bye!